to protect uh, your inside from germs coming in by food. Mm -hmm. But that's the old uh, Pasteurian theory, and, and uh, we need to bury that theory. I mean, Pasteur's dead and his theory's dead and should be dead. Germs don't cause disease. Germs are the transformations okay. of cellular breakdown. I mean, there's germs here, there's germs we're breathing, there's germs in our body. I can create a germ right out of your blood in less than a millisecond. And all I have to do is change the environment. All I have to do is cause a physical disturbance and I can create staph, I can create E. coli, I can create, I can, I can create anthrax, you name the germ and it'll show up when you change the environment. You can even create yeast where yeast wasn't present before because it's no different than when you take a healthy food when it's freshly picked and you put it in the refrigerator, what? To preserve it from cellular breakdown. When, when people realize that we don't get old, we mold, <clears throat> we're no different than the food that we're trying to preserve. And so bacteria is not, is not a, um, it's not, I'm trying to come up with the word here so you understand, it's not infecting our bodies. What it is, is a byproduct of cellular breakdown due to the compromised environment. The hydrochloric acid in the stomach falls into the gastric pits away from the food. If you take vinegar and put sodium bicarbonate, you see a separation. You see an immediate contact chemi chemically and a reaction. Well, what's happening is sodium bicarbonate rises to the top as acid falls to the bottom. So what is happening in the stomach is the very same thing. The stomach is producing a fire. That fire is sodium bicarbonate. Food is coming down. It's being neutralized, the acids of that food, in preparation for that food to be transformed into stem cells in the crypts of the intestinal villi. You have these appendages called a villi. Mm -hmm. And that food, if it's a solid piece of food, will fall into the crypts and ferment and rot, and this is why people have belching and gas and, and constipation. It should be liquid, it comes into there, it sits there and transforms into, an erytho, into a stem cell, then to a, an erythroblast, and then to a red blood cell. So the stomach's main purpose is a contributor to alkalinity, falls within everything that I teach, not because it's convenient, because guess what? It flat out works. Mm. You know, you can ask, forget the theory. I mean, don't forget it, but I'm saying take the theory, apply the principle, and you'll find out what I'm saying works. It actually works. You actually neutralize the very thing that most people suffer from. And that's, uh, that's indigestion. That's uh, problems with their, all the stomach problems. You know, that they, they, they have nausea. Uh, and we do this through drinking this kind of water. Because we want, we want water that's saturated in alkalinity, saturated in, in hydroxyl ions for the purpose of neutralizing the, 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 uh, the hydrochloric acid, supporting the sodium bicarbonate buffering system. I've had to rename the whole digestive system. I call it the, alkali the alkaline buffering system. Uh, and it starts with the salivary glands, and it, 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 then it goes to the stomach, the pylorus glands, uh, the lubricant glands in the intestines, the pancreas. The pancreas secretes sodium bicarbonate, and the bile secretes bile, which is, yes. has a pH of 8.4. Everything points to what I'm saying is not only scientific, anatomically correct, but guess what? Chem biochemically, it's... You know, if you read my, my paper on this, you can find it on my blog. Uh, it's called The Truth About the Stomach. And when you look at my, my whole premise and then follow the chemistry all the way down, uh, it's bulletproof, scientifically. And then when you apply the principles, you realize how many people that you can actually help by getting them to drink alkaline water. And there's people out there that aren't scientists, that are making comments about this, mm -hmm. who haven't tested, that don't understand this basic principle that the stomach, and this is new, this is new, new, new biology, that the stomach is not an organ of digestion. It doesn't digest a single thing. Now, if you want to do a little experiment here, you know, eat a piece of corn, 
don't chew up the corn, just swallow it, or eat, eat some peas, or eat, eat some nuts, and don't chew them. And they'll come out the same way that they went in. Mm -hmm. Is that true or not? <laughs> That's true. So, if you think that, that, that the stomach acid is going to digest a piece of corn, which, is, which is, has a higher concentration of water than a piece of meat, and you think that you can eat meat and get away with it? You're delusionary. You're believing in the, in the medical lie that the stomach digests food. It flat out doesn't. And that hydrochloric acid is there to digest. And so what happens, it blows all the theories out there. Oh, you need to take enzymes. Oh, you need to take probiotics. Oh, you need... You know, when you understand that these, these particular so-called nutritional supplements are only going to contribute more to the problem and not resolve the problem, and it's very simply resolved by moving more towards an alkaline lifestyle and diet. Mm -hmm. And it starts with this blue water. Mm 